I testified in front of the Helsinki Commission in Congress. The commission wanted to evaluate ways to reform the United Nations so that it could better deal with many pressing concerns that we face today in a multipolar world. One of the key takeaways from this hearing is that authoritarian regimes use international humanitarian negotiations to gain legitimacy on the international stage. The human rights violations and war crimes perpetrated by these actors then affect U.S. interests and European interests, as well as making these regional areas suffer immeasurably. And then Russia is able to sort of flip the script and blame the West for these outcomes. Senators have introduced the Assad Regime Anti-Normalization Act, which essentially would create further sanctions, but also monitoring of UN assistance so that it is not manipulated or diverted. So I had three main recommendations. The first was that the United States should work diplomatically to remove humanitarian assistance from the remit of the Security Council. Life-saving humanitarian assistance should not be subject to great power competition. Second, the United States, in concert with its allies, should work together in situations where there are stalled peace negotiations or UN agencies are being systematically blocked. And in these cases, donor governments like the United States need to work together to find alternatives. And my recommendation was that local NGOs can be this alternative. My last recommendation was that humanitarian funding cannot be cut. Quite the opposite. Humanitarian funding across the world must be increased at this critical time. But the issue is that the United States government and its allies need to work harder to end these protracted conflicts and stop endemic corruption. For more on my testimony and this critical issue, please visit CSIS.org.